We're going kayaking. We're going kayaking. Now you want to sing my song. <laughs> day 14 of our 21 day Colorado road trip. Today we're in Glenwood Springs and we are rafting the Colorado River. So it's a little bumpy right now, but uh, we just got dropped off in this really cool area. Check this out. What do you think? You having fun? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah? It's pretty so far. Yeah, it's really cool area, cool canyon. We drove in on this uh, highway actually this morning on our way in from uh, Vail. But um, yeah, really hot here today. Probably the hottest day we've had on the whole trip. I think it was like almost, it's like mid 80s. Uh, it's a perfect day to be on the water. There's a lot of, a lot of people out here. So we're kind of just floating. I think we're gonna stop at a beach and like a natural hot spring, right? Yeah, so it should be cool. They said it only takes about an hour and a half to get back down to uh, where we started, like the place we rented the kayaks from, but we are in no rush. So we're just gonna be floating and hopefully no tipping today. Here comes some rapids! Did you get wet? No? I wasn't really expecting this out of uh, Glenwood Springs, were you? I don't know, like this, these like tall canyons and I don't know, I just, I think Glenwood Springs I did the least research on and had like the least expectations. Like the only thing I knew was like that uh, park that's up on top of the mountain. Like the adventure theme park or whatever with the big swing. I'm gonna end up doing that. Yeah. I think this is probably more fun. What do you think is better, this kayaking here so far or Durango? Uh, All right, we'll check back in after. That was pretty good. Yeah, right after, right after you said there's no rapids. Oh, it was a little hectic. Did I go over a big rock? Yeah, that's why I was trying to go over. Oh, I didn't see you. Oh, really? I didn't see you do that. <laughs> you went over a massive rock and didn't even know? <laughs> it's probably easier to see it from your side. Well, I went past it. I almost hit it. So then I turned around and it was like a bomb. That's why I was trying to wait to get through the nest. I guess you were looking down. I was very straight forward and I was like, <laughs> and you're just like <laughs> I was very, very Alright, 
so we just heard the train. It's coming. It's coming by right here. Probably 15 seconds. All right, I guess we're going to shore. I wonder if this kind of looks like a passenger train. Perfect timing. There it is. Yeah, I saw them. Just keep oh, there's somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, that one had a lot of people. Yeah. Dang, that was cool. I know. And doesn't smell at all. I wonder where that's going. If it's going to Glenwood Springs or... Yeah. Well, that was cool. So, both times we've been rafting, we've seen a train uh, come by us. Yo. Wow, this is crazy. Somebody made like a house out of uh, sticks and tree branches and you could literally camp here. Really? A house? Yeah. Oh, is that another train or was that a truck? Yeah, go check it out. This is just on the side of the uh, of the river where we stopped to see the train. Wow. Isn't that cool? It's giving survivor. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think you could survive here for 30 days? No. No? No. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. oh yeah. You'd have to go into town on your raft and then, or hitch a, hitch a ride on the train. Yeah, you could survive here. That actually looks pretty, uh, pretty decent. There's a lot of holes in it. We are now entering the Horseshoe Bend section of this river. It's pretty cool. I guess there's a bunch of different horseshoe bends everywhere, but... We came from back there, and there's the highway tunnel that goes through this part of the mountain and we're gonna be uh, looping back around it. So we just hit some good uh, white rapids. I couldn't get my GoPro out quick enough, but uh, they were probably some of the biggest ones we've hit so far. So I gotta turn around and hopefully get some more. This is where she said, look for a uh, bighorn sheep. Oh geez, here's a big one. <laughs> That's a big rock. Damn. Wow. That's cool. Ah, the wind! Alright, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it from here, but there's the adventure park we are talking about uh, maybe doing. We're not going to do it, but it's on top of the mountain. We can see it right now. We're right underneath it, so I'm trying to show you. 
it's right up there. There's like a swing that goes over the cliff, and then there's also a, uh, what swings? There's like the circle swings, and then like regular swings. I don't know how to describe it, but there's two different swings. Uh, I'll try to zoom in. I'm hitting rocks. Ah! No! No! Too many rocks. But that little section was not fun. <laughs> Too many rocks uh, hitting my butt. And it's getting pretty windy now, so it's kind of a pain in the uh, butt to... Look, I'm getting completely turned 180. So, uh, I gotta get back to focusing on the river. A lot more than um, Pagosa. Pagosa? Yeah. Yeah, it smells. Pagosa smell too. But once again, we have found some free hot springs. Which the, uh, let's see how hot this is. The people that were renting the uh, kayaks from told us about this on the way. Woo! Woo! -hoo. That's hot. God, and it smells so bad too. But, um, there's like two places, Ooh. two places in Ow. town. I know it's hot, huh? It takes a minute. I know. I, I put my whole leg in, and then it, yeah. Anyways, there's two places in town. There's like this massive pool, a uh, hot spring, and it's like 50 bucks. And once again, we found another free hot spring. So if you come here or Pagosa, like don't pay for the hot springs. Just come find, or come find the natural want ones. That experience if you want that relaxing experience and pay for it now this is better you get to kayak and get a hot spring Woo! ah oh, that's like burning god that is hot Woo! hot water 60 degree water <laughs> it's probably like a hundred and something degrees 65 degrees that's crazy So I found where the hot water is coming from. It's coming from, you can't really see, but it's coming from inside these rocks. So I'll show you kind of just in the side of the cliff. So that's where the hot water is coming from and it's coming all into this area right here. And then it's mixing with the uh, river water. Goes down there. 